Naglan News Network is so privileged to have Mr. Gary Mahegan from Australia, of course, the famous from the famous Master Chef Australia. Thank you so much, Mr. Gary, for speaking to us. Uh, first of all, the basics. How has your trip been so far in Nagaland? Well, I, I can. I have to qualify this. I've only been here for a few days, but I've eaten a fair amount of food already, which is which is quite nice. But yeah, I've been. I've wanted to come here for a long time, so it's been a beautiful um, experience so far. I loved it. Um, how did you first hear about Nagaland and the Hornbill Festival or were you always aware about the festival? You know what, to be honest, Nagaland you know, came onto my, my radar from another chef who's called Thomas Zacharias and he'd come up here, he did a road trip and you know, he was you know, foraging all these native ingredients, different types of mushrooms and all this kind of thing. And so I got really interested from that point onwards because it looked beautiful and what I didn't understand at that point was you know the i suppose the land connection to you know to china to myanmar to you know even the north of thailand or lao for example is southeast asia and so once i saw some pictures i'm like that's you know that's not what i understand as you know indian yeah so even though i've been to kerala and to chennai and to bengaluru yeah. up here totally different so that's why i wanted to come so already i've had a few dishes and not very spicy because really? yeah well not really because okay. not using things like you know turmeric and coriander and cumin it's oh, all sorry. very different yeah. garlic fermented bamboo the naga pork of course mm -hmm. the naga chili so yeah i've been quite surprised have you tried the naga king chili and if you did how was it i have a few years ago on masterchef we did a challenge using oh. the naga chili it was a number of years ago mm -hmm. but all the crew are kind of laughing in the background because they're waiting for me to actually uh, try one here start sweating you know and see what physical reaction i have yeah and i'm i was disappointed because i heard that the chili eating competition is not happening this year yeah. and uh i watched the guys on youtube eating like 10 chilies oh, okay. and i'm like yeah. how <laughs> how do you train for that so yeah I mean, uh, Kohima, you just got back from there today and then yeah. you'll be going back up again. So what, are, what is it that, were you disappointed in any way with the Hornbill Festival, no, no, the no. culture? And we've got lots of coverage to do. I mean, f for me personally, it's about, uh, you know, I love people. So it's about understanding all those different tribes and, you know, uh, what, what it means to them and what it means to be Naga and from the tribe that they're in. That's really important. And also that the food that they cook and the connection that they have to home and family. These are the things that I love. Um, and obviously on top of that, I mean, I think as a festival that obviously... I don't know if you want to tell the rest of the world about, like really, because now it's getting busier and busier. It's got this lovely feeling, you know, because you, it's a small community up here, you know, by comparison to the rest of India. And it's just got this lovely um, sense of togetherness and, and of um, pride, you know, so I love that. And obviously the color and the texture and, you know, all the beautiful textiles and costumes and things. So, yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. It's good to get busier, but how busy do you want to get? Oh, yeah. And also exploitation of certain things from here, maybe you know. Possibly, yeah. you know. So you know, I'll be your champion. All right, I'll stand. <laughs> I'll stand guard. Let people in and not let people in. How's that? <laughs> uh, what is it that you want to take from this experience from here back home? And uh, you know, what do you want to tell? Australians uh, well, back look, home. I think it's obvious already. Like, if you look at my Instagram, I'm posting stuff that is obviously beautiful. I mean, you, you just got to look across the mountains and it's gorgeous. Um, beautiful skies and, you know, dry, clear weather at this time of the year. But what do I want to take home? As a chef, I normally want three or four recipes. People are normally quite generous. They go, yeah, you know, take it. Um, but it's important for me to take a little bit of that uh, culinary experience back to my family at home. You know, because they're going to go, okay, you're going to cook naga pork for me. So then I'm going to have to look for fermented soybean. Maybe I'll have to smuggle that in. <laughs> yeah, I think Don't so. tell Australian <laughs> customs, all right? So they'll be searching my suitcase. But yeah, there's certain things that might be hard to replicate, but we can get most stuff. And there's a small naga community in Australia. So yeah. Do you know any Nagas in Australia? Are actually, you actually bumped into one at the Hornville Festival, and he said, "I'm from Melbourne." And he he went to uh, Melbourne when he was young with his brother and sister and parents, oh, yeah. and then he's just come back. And I said, "Why did you come back?" And he said, "Because it's it's my home, and I want to reconnect, and they're doing good things." So we on one minute we were talking about Melbourne and the politics and the re-election and all the blah 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 blah, and the next we were talking about the love for for his country. So yeah. Um, last question. What has been your favorite dish so far on a, you know, the, the top most, like, okay, to the top three. I think I, it won't be fair to just have one, the top three. 
No, no, I, I honestly, like, what sits out, because there's some, you know, I was quite surprised, like, most of the vegetables I've had so far are quite simply prepared, mm -hmm. and I did a bit of research, for example, in the naga pork that I love, and with the, you know, the fermented soybean, those rich flavours, I was watching a little video where they use, and I haven't cooked with them yet, but passion fruit leaves, oh, yeah. and we grow passion fruit, like, I have passion fruit in my garden, yeah. and I've never cooked with the leaves, so there was this beautiful naga pork with uh, eggplant and mm. big bunch of... Uh, passion fruit leaves yeah, and it might be sim <laughs> might be simple for you but then put in the pot lid on cook it for a certain amount of time so then when you take it out and serve the vegetables yeah. i just went wow what a great way of cooking because now you've got flavor of passion fruit leaf and vegetable in yes. what you're cooking yes. and and the reverse the other way so stuff like that yeah. that's that's what i really love so maybe in a few months time when i post that pork yeah. everybody goes no what it was here all along yeah. <laughs> all right thank you so much pleasure all right, so that was Gary Mahigan, the famous Gary Mahigan with Naglin News Network here at Nune Resort at the Northeast Riders Meet 2022 at Nune Resort in Chumukadima. Esther here with camera person Kamri for Naglin News Network.